So, like, the moment I've been dreading since I started writing is, like, now. I was so, so depressed today. Like, I don't know what it, I was, like, it's just, like, not, like, a normal Monday. Like, I'm just, like, I'm shot. And it's because yesterday I started writing for my book. And so I'm writing again today, and I finally got to... <sighs> one of the parts I've been dreading, which is the time when my mom passed away. But I just stopped at where she passed away. Um, I'll, I'll just show you the page because there's nothing. There's really nothing written on it. It's literally like, this is the only thing that is written for that day. I don't even know if that comes out backwards when I film it. I don't know. But, so that's where I just stopped. But it's funny because, it's not funny, it's not funny, but it's uh, it's weird because one week before she died, is I'm going to read the page. This is the last page I wrote before my mom died. And I found what I wrote to be very fucking, I don't know what the word is, so I'm just going to read it, a part of it at least. This is an email I sent to somebody who, well, I mean, you can go read the book when it goes up and find out who, but, um, I feel sad today. I don't know why. Then I heard this song and I was like, oh, weird, this is sad and realized that I heard it a year ago. Um, I talk about like who I'm dating a little bit and then it goes, uh, da, da, da. <clears throat> Maybe love continues, but people don't. I know I love you. I feel like you love me too, but just like that song says, you tell me that you love me, but you never want to see me again. And it's sad. Because nothing we had, or nothing I've had with my friends in the past, or people in general, will ever be again. You and I lost everything we ever had, or never had. And the same thing with my friends. It's like you lose touch with people. People move, people move on. Life does not stop. I'm sad because I'm happy with where I'm at today in most aspects of my life. But I just wish I could have held on to what was in front of me for just a little bit longer. If I could go back, I would have danced at the TikTok for a few more seconds longer. Or instead of instead of blowing off my wife, uh, made the effort to see her when she was a block away. Or made the effort to walk to Newell that day I didn't go so I could get egg salad or stayed up an extra hour with you just because there's no rush to tomorrow now it's all gone so listen to this song again and think about your life and your friends and your loves and then pay attention to what and who is in front of you right now right this second because today will be yesterday before you know it so I guess what I just taught myself was that I should enjoy what's in front of me. I shouldn't question the now. For what it's worth, I still think about the yesterdays with all the every ones I've had. And I wanted to tell you that you will always be one of the important someones. And yeah, I miss you. But it's, it's kind of like... I learned that writing one page and the next page, my mom is dead, you know? And it's like, it's like my past self unknowingly was almost trying to just Pay attention to what and who is in front of you right now. Right this second. Because today will be yesterday before you know it. I don't want to think about the yesterdays with all the everyone's. It's like, if you're important to me, I want you here. I want you in my face. I want you in my Facebook 
messenger. I want you in my phone texting me. I want you to call me. And you know what? It's not just you. I mean, I'm... It's 50% of the work. You know, that's why I make it a point, I feel, to go up and hang out with my grandmother randomly. Not randomly, like clockwork, at least once every two weeks. Because she's 80 fucking one years old. And I don't know how many tomorrows we're going to have, Jima. <laughs> but in all seriousness, for that to be my last page before my mom died, I didn't even... I didn't even really take my own advice. I remember... I remember rushing off the phone with her. One of the last times I talked to her. I remember rushing off the phone. I just got off the train from Manhattan because I had a job interview. It was my ex's birthday and I was rushing to hang out. I should have just stayed on the phone. Just like, even for one more second. Not that it would have changed anything, but at least I would have been okay knowing that I used the time I had. I used every second of what I can control and I, I didn't do that. So, yeah. I hate this book. And that's all I gotta say. We're done.